as to how the Internet of Things is going to change society as a whole, it will mean the objects around us are perpetually communicating with each other. Fantastic opportunities, but real risks. The opportunity is that when the four SIM cards active in a given flat are all more than two kilometers away, you can automatically turn down the thermostat in the flat by three degrees and turn it up when they're within five kilometers again. You can do all that type of thing. Your fridge, when it's low, running low on milk, can order milk to be delivered from Tesco's for, you to, for your fridge to be replenished. Those are all the kind of simple things that will happen in the coming years. If you have a frail elderly lady living on her own who's got a wristband that is monitoring her movements and starts tracking that she's wobbling slightly more as she walks into the kitchen so her risks of a fall in the next 24 hours are rising so you then have an intervention, incidentally probably prompted by a change in her drug prescription that's normally a prelude to an accident in the home for elderly people then you can deliver social care and enable people to live independently in the home much better. On the other hand, people will also be able to track individuals through society, people will know where you are, they'll know much more accurately what you're spending and things like that. So privacy protection linked to the issue of cyber security, linked to the issue of what we should know about our fellow citizens and what we should not know, are going to be a very important tricky set of issues. That's why this is both a fascinating engineering and technological challenge but it can't be detached from fundamental questions about the rights of an individual in a modern society.